All right, boys and girls, we got an unboxing today. Here's the package right here. Let's crack it open. And here it is. It's the DJI goggles. I ordered these, uh, well, last week, Saturday or something. I think it was, or Friday. Friday morning, I think. This is a refurb unit. I didn't buy the brand new one. I just, I just couldn't do it, man. I just couldn't do it. Since I never had VR stuff, I've never done any VR. I just couldn't uh, lay out the money for that, for these brand new. So I just got them refurbished. So let's just take a look at them to see if they're in good shape. Wow. There is not one blemish on this thing. I don't see one scratch. On it anywhere. Don't eat that. Power supply. There's the head strap. I'm not sure how this thing even works, to be honest with you. I never messed around with it. I'm sure there's some kind of release. Oh, here's the uh, release. So you turn that, and that opens it up. It's got a stainless steel band in here. Yeah, it's just like a spring steel, you know. And that's what opens it up, so you can put it on your noodle. These things are not that light, okay? They're heavier than a lot of stuff, uh, you know, these little VR headsets you get. These things are pretty uh, beefy, so I'm sure they could get to be <clears throat> a little bit uncomfortable if you kept them on for a real long time. And then here's a pack of the cords. There is not one mark on this thing. You couldn't, you would never know this, this wasn't brand new. I mean, somebody might have kept it for two days and returned it, you know. So, you just never know. Because I know Gadget Inspector bought that Phantom 4 <clears throat> refurbished. And he, um, he said it had one little nick on one of the arms. He said other than that, that it was uh, in mint condition. Here is the <clears throat> little cleaning pad. You know, they give you these things and a lot of stuff. Then here's the uh, charge cable right here. Just a micro USB. And then here's the HDMI cable. I think this is the cable that you have to use with the <clears throat> right here's the HDMI out cable right here or here's a port you could put a member SD micro SD card in here and then it has the it has this here so actually you could use this on a like say your PlayStation 4 or something instead of taking the output from the PlayStation 4 or the Xbox one whatever and it going into the TV you could just run it into here and plug it into here and just watch with this I've seen people use these things for other stuff you know not just you know they have multi-use not just for uh, using the quadcopters but this cable here yeah, I think it's for the Phantom 4 and for the um, the Mavic Air and maybe the Inspire, I'm not sure. But these goggles, I do believe, 
were designed to work with the Mavic Pro. Okay, because the Mavic Pro is the only is the only uh, quad that you can use these things wirelessly. I don't need these wires to use it with the Mavic Pro. It uses the OcuSync. So I can just hook up the OcuSync and it'll run wirelessly with that, with the Mavic Pro. So you don't need wires for this for the Mavic Pro. And that's why I think it was designed around the Mavic Pro. And actually, I think these goggles came out around the same time the Mavic Pro did, okay? If I'm not mistaken, they came out pretty close to around the same time. So with it being able to uh, work wirelessly and everything, that makes me believe that they were designed for it. So, yeah, super cool, man. I'm going to really be digging these if I don't get like motion sickness or something. And these just plug into here like that, just like that. So I'm not sure how that, yeah, that just folds down like that. They plug in, snap in, then there's the release tab right there. So you would have to open this and plug that this cable in and then plug the other end into the Phantom 4. So, or wait a minute, I think there is an HDMI port maybe on the Phantom 4 controller. I think that's what it is. Now, if you want to use this with the Spark, you can use this with the Spark, but you have to get some kind of adapter. There's, if you were using the OTG cable, I don't think you could use these. Because I think you have to use that port. Yeah, you would have to get a maybe just a uh, micro usb cable on both ends for the spark i'd have to look into it but i'm not sure but i'm pretty sure the mavic uh or the uh, phantom 4 has an hdmi port on the controller i think i'm not positive because i don't have it but it has to hook up there on there some way because i know this works with that so yeah it looks good man i'm gonna charge it up and do all that crap but yeah, I'm definitely going to use these with the Phantom, no doubt, because these things look really cool. And to release that, you just hold the button in and pull it out. And you can see uh, the ports in there. It's got some kind of audio, I think maybe, and video jack go in there. Snaps right in. Yeah, they're kind of beefy. They're not, they're not real light, so you'll get some neck fatigue wearing these. But from everything I heard about them, that they're super comfortable and uh, super clear. You know, there's some real good s screen in there. So, all right, boys, I'll have to get these charged up. And I think it you can record to these because there's a micro SD card slot right there. You know, I'll have to read into it. This is a cold unboxing. I didn't, you know, open the box and fiddle around with it or anything. So I don't know a whole lot about it other than the couple videos I watched on it. So I just watched the, uh, I watched a couple of the DJI videos on it. How to set it up and all that other crap. But they have a whole series of videos on it. So I'll look into it. Looks cool as hell though. I'm going to really like the hell out of these things for sure. All right, boys wasn't a whole lot to it. <laughs> Have a nice night. <laughs>